So what does narcissism have to do with manifesting or living a better life or getting the desires of your heart? What I think it has to do with it, where the bridge lies, is when you know that you've been raised by someone narcissistic, it puts the pieces of the puzzle together for you so that you can now start to develop a sense of worthiness. Because this whole time, your sense of worthiness has been robbed from you. Um, your belief in yourself has been robbed from you. And your, your self-concept has kind of been robbed from you in a way. Um, and we have to restore those things, right? And those things are needing to be restored so that we can get the desires of our heart because it's all within us, right? Everything is within. If we don't allow ourselves within because we don't feel worthy due to what we've experienced and what we've been taught about ourselves, then, you know, we, we risk forsaking I don't know like what we want in life my point is is that what we want what we desire is connected to our belief about ourself and our belief about our self-worth which is also connected to what we were taught and how we were raised so figuring out like oh okay this is what happens to me okay and this is why I feel this way okay I can start to shift this I can start to change this I could start to see myself differently I can actually get what I want. I'm actually worthy of what I want. Um, I'm not a failure. You know, I don't do everything wrong. You know, this thing about me not feeling good enough, although the feeling is still there sometimes, it's not the truth. I can slowly make my way out of this hole, <laughs> you know, out of this darkness of my negative self-concept that was developed through my childhood and upbringing because of the distortion and distorted view of my parent okay <laughs> so that's the connection there um yeah both really valuable right we can't put the cart before the horse we have to look within as they say